Hi guys, this is our last trip that we just done on the weekend. You guys can see uh, we're on our way to Royberg Lodge. We've taken a gravel road about roughly maybe 70 80 k's of gravel road to get here and about 110 on tar. This is the last portion, most probably the last two, three kilometers from the resort. And I thought we'd just show you this video. It was our first time we actually ever um, rode on um, rode through a river 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 crossing, which was which was quite quite gnarly for a first time experience. And it was, uh, it's just nice to actually see. And I'll just go through it with you guys as we, as we, as how I worked it out and crossed the river. Unfortunately, my wife fell before the river. So uh, she was she was not yet ready to cross the river, so I took a bike over on the second go. But unfortunately, we didn't have recording on that. We didn't have recording on the first bike crossing. Yeah, like I said, this is about the last four or five k's to the place. As you can see, these are gates. There's about two gates before in this in in this five kilometer area where we actually have to just climb off one, opens the gate, and we take both bikes through. And if you look at the road specifically, the go gravel doesn't actually do it justice as you'll see it's quite it's quite mucky but it is not not too mushy or muddy which which made us feel quite as if we were already arriving at our destination we were quite happy because we had a lot of ruts to deal with and a lot of little muddy spots and so on which was very challenging and we overcame them all so we were really feeling really good and up to it um, as as we as we got closer and closer to our destination my wife looks a lot like the stick in her bike clothes <laughs> right and um but she's always very dusty. I don't think you can actually see how dusty she is in the footage. But she's been now uh, behind me. We drive about two car lengths from each other. But she's been driving in the dust all the time. You know, um, she's on the. She's driving. I'm driving maybe on the left track, and she's on the right hand track. But the, the dust you can't avoid. So she gets extremely dusty. But. Um, I always drive in front so that um, if there are any obstacles I can warn her in case in case I see she's maybe going to struggle over it and then uh, she can just take countermeasures by stopping and then I'll come help her with a bike if it comes to that because this motorbike is um, quite heavy for her uh, stature she's not the tallest of people as you all know um, she's about 17 and these bikes are quite high and heavy 242 kilos i think I, I, I do apologize for the sound quality at the moment i'm just doing a voiceover because uh, i just like basically we're not that clued up on making these videos and stuff we make it mostly for people that want to enjoy it after hours and anyone that just wants to enjoy it we don't know everything about a motorbike we don't know how to do everything but um, we just hope one day our grandkids could actually look at these videos and be proud of their uh, grandparents and even our kids too because uh, I've got three boys the oldest being 28 and the youngest being most probably 24 and they petrified of these bikes <laughs> they, they, whenever we leave they always say a prayer for us <laughs> so they're very petrified of these bikes but um, yeah um, uh, they have had um, uh, one two fives and so on but they're a bit scared as you guys can see um, the road was not too bad as we were getting closer we were feeling a bit good about ourselves because we, we had done quite a quite well to get here but unfortunately on this last corner so we were around about a kilometer away suddenly there was like a, 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 a little bit of a river crossing which it didn't look like much initially but because um, it's situated on such a down and then right from there there's a steep steep hill with a few heavy ruts and yeah I just went for it because um, I've been practicing a lot and one thing I can tell you going through this um, through that uh, through that river thing you always rather go slow in try and let the bike roll out and whenever you feel it's sliding you just add power but unfortunately my wife had already fall, fell <laughs> on the side of the inside of the river and um, and, and luckily not in the river 
so she was actually watching my bike and she immediately panicked and um, that always tells you, you always keep your eye on the road and as soon as she's just looking at my bike she immediately drove into the side of the bushes there but uh, all good, no injuries uh, why well, I mentioned the uphill what makes it difficult with the DC, DCT you do not have a clutch so you can't just put in gear and park your bike or else, uh, and the bike will stay so it's just on neutral so you've got to actually get more of a level ground and put your handbrake up and everything the bike tends to roll down badly because there's no there's no clutch to hold the gear in so it makes it hard to stop so you can see I drove a bit further up to get to um, smoother ground so this is one of the aftermath um, after I climbed off my bike I just went to help my wife we put up the bike you can see the the rock pile on the left she went into the left there into the bushes right and luckily um, we picked up the bike quite easily between the two of us we picked it up quite be easily and it was in a heavy rut and we had to still push it out of the rut and these bikes they seem to not get much damage when they fall but uh, we just took extra pictures right. to extra uh, pictures for you guys just to see how the river looks and what what we've done there but thanks for watching guys uh, like and subscribe and we're not professionals so everything for us is an achievement and um, an enjoyment thanks for watching